leverage is a term that's been talked about a lot in this particular financial crisis. And you know, certainly, uh, people now think leverage maybe is a four-letter word in the way people are talking about it. But fundamentally, leverage is not a bad thing. It really represents people borrowing money to do things that are important and valuable. So a student might normally be expected to borrow some money in student loans in order to complete their education, which is going to pay off for them in their lifetime through higher earnings and other opportunities that they have. It was a good investment, smart way to use money, but it levered their capital and their investment. Similarly, if you're, a, if you're buying a home, hardly anybody has all the money to buy their first home right out of the bat. Mostly what they do is they put down a down payment and they borrow the rest from the bank in the form of a mortgage. That's also leverage. But again, it's a good way for a person to get into a home that they can raise their family in. It makes perfect sense to do and they can pay that money back over their lifetimes. The problem is when you have too much leverage. So let's think about a simple example. If you have a dollar and you use that to go buy a stock, and the stock, you're thinking it's going to go up, of course that's why you bought it, but a mistake happened and, you know, bad luck, it went down by 5%. Well, you still have 95 cents. You lost 5 cents and it's not a disaster. The problem is, if you had taken your $1 and you used that to borrow 19 more dollars, and now you have $20, and you take those $20 and you invest that in the stock, when the stock goes down 5%, you now lost a dollar, which is the only dollar you had. You got no dollars left, you're now, you're now bankrupt, and that's, that's a disaster. Well, the Wall Street firms, like the investment banks, weren't levered 20 to 1, but on average, they were levered 30 to 35 to 1. So that if they were to lose as little as 3% on their total diversified portfolio, they were wiped out. Pretty much exactly what happened to Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, might have happened to Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, and Goldman Sachs if the government uh, hadn't intervened. So really, the issue is not that leverage is a bad thing. It's that too much leverage is a bad thing, and we as an economy need to, need to delever, which is a large part of what's going on right now.